So Mr. Z, Mr. Baldwin and I are here to give you guys a good exemplar of what we're looking for in terms of the videos. So today we've got our stream table set up here. We're going to show you how to set it up a little bit. And uh, we're going to look for three specific terms this morning, right? So we're going to talk about three different things. We've got our water shed, which is also the same thing as a drainage basin. We're going to look at a divide, and then we're going to look at the gradient of the river. So to start out with our setup here, Mr. Z, you want to talk about how much sand we have in here and the positioning of the hose? Yeah, so if you notice, we have all the sand just pretty much piled up over here uh, to this end. And I would say there's about, about four or five centimeters. You can look on the side. These plastic bins are clear. And you can see about four or five centimeters of sand over here at the highest point. And it pretty much stays level almost till about uh, halfway through down to the stream table. And that's where we kind of level off and there really isn't anything there. As the water flows, it'll push the sand over that way and you'll see that in the video. A couple of other things, we have our water source. All right, and this actually is another term that you're going to uh, find out pretty soon. And then we also have the draining we also have the uh, where the water drains out over here on the end. There's kind of a spigot there, and you can control um, when it flows out, when it doesn't, and it goes right here into that bucket. These hoses over here on the end, you can see those that are connected to the faucets, and to start the water is basically just turning the faucets on. So one thing you probably want to be careful of when you're turning the faucets on is you're going to turn them on very slowly, and you're probably going to leave them on much lower flow than you thought. One more thing that you probably can't see here is that we actually have one of our books underneath one end to actually create a gradient. And All right. And that's just a little bit of a slope that we can get the water flowing downhill. Okay. Water on. Uh, so yeah. one more time, we're thinking about watershed, drainage basin. Same thing, yeah. Divide mm -hmm. and gradient. Cool. Perfect. Let's see what happens when we turn the water on. Get this hose over here. You get that one? Yeah, I got it. So we're turning on real slow, so we don't want to send water spraying all over the place. I don't want to be wet today. <sighs> and it doesn't take a lot to really get the water to flow. You can have just a trickle and it'll give you a good result of what you're looking for. So one thing I'm noticing right away is that as soon as the water hits that sediment, it's starting to infiltrate because the sediment is not saturated. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to see a little bit of runoff on the left side and no definite channels have formed yet, but we can see we've got one little channel forming here and trying to curve around to the other side, but it looks like this is where the dominant part of this channel is going to form. And on the other side, we have one little channel that's starting to form almost straight down from where the water is impacting the surface of the sediment. Now you're going to notice that some water is going to build up back behind this plastic divider. That's okay. You do want to keep an eye on the back of it, make sure nothing's leaking out onto the table or onto the floor. And so now we're starting to get some sediment that's actually being eroded down with the water flow, the stream flow, and starting to get down here towards our filter system, towards our bucket. And you guys can see we've got a little bit different flow rates, too. The one on your left-hand side is a little bit slower, so it took a while for the water just to infiltrate on this side. And this one on your right is flowing a little bit faster, so you can see we've got a little bit quicker stream development taking place because of the speed of the water. And if you also notice, the channels themselves, from this hose, the water is flowing on your right-hand side, and from this hose, the water is flowing on this left-hand side. We actually have two watersheds or drainage basins here. Any water that falls in this area or is in this area is going to flow down this side. And the same would be for the other side, your right-hand side. Okay, another clue for you guys here. I know we're not going to talk about it in this video, and we're not going to give you any specifics, but I'm seeing lots of good examples of different times, types of sediment load. So keep your eyes open for those when you're doing this. We do have something separating the watersheds, and that's this area over here in the middle. And that's what we're going to call a divide. And that's what a divide is. It's an area of, of higher land. It could be a mountain or a ridge or something along those lines that separates watersheds 
or drainage basins. And we've created that here in this model. We don't see any water flowing through the middle here because that's where the divide is. It's a little bit higher. And it may be a little bit difficult for you to see, but as we see the water flow, we can see that it's flowing on one side or the other. So, like we said before, you need to watch for leaks, and we have a leak developing at the base, and so we want to actually pull the book out, because we're going to run out of book otherwise. Oh, it's coming out there. Are you sure? Yeah, I got water coming out of here, yeah. So it must, oh, probably because we don't have high enough gradient. Yeah. And it's falling back into here. It could be. So what we're going to recommend to you is, before you get started with the stream table at all, that you need to have a really good solid plan for what you think you're going to do and how you think the stream table is going to show the features that you're looking for. You need to make sure that you've got your video camera set up and you've got people assigned to different roles and that if you need any other pieces of equipment to help you out, you've got all those at hand. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to proceed to capture your video. Remember, you can go back and edit your video in YouTube once you've got it uploaded. So if there are parts you want to cut out, you can do that. If there are things you want to string together later, you can do that as well. So the video part's pretty unforgiving. Just let your camera roll. Other things, Mr. Weldon, Mr. Z. Try and keep it simple. I mean, you got to have one set of conditions. We were able to show a couple different terms just by manipulating one thing. So we didn't really have to change anything. We were able to show you the divide, the watershed and basin, and then the gradient uh, of, of the stream. So try and keep it simple and have a good plan on what you're trying to put together. And um, stay dry. <laughs> Everybody. Clean up his mask. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>